Hello guys, and I have one question for you, but it's a very Ukrainian question. How long do you think it will take us to destroy Kerch Bridge after we receive the first aid package? A day or two? I personally believe that this countdown has already started and not just for Kerch Bridge, but many more Russian military objects. And I think that in the months to come, we will witness a lot of important Ukrainian and our partners' victories. This support, this aid from the United States, from the United Kingdom and many other countries is an extremely important signal that our partners are mobilizing and understand how important it is not just to stop Russia, but to defeat Russia. Let me tell you more about what we are expecting to get and how these weapons and ammunition and vehicles can help us win faster. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And here we discuss a lot of beautiful moments and learn more about Russian geography based on the locations of military targets destroyed there. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. Honestly, for the last couple of months, I felt quite disappointed and anxious, and many people did. I'd say the majority. I cannot imagine how our soldiers on the front lines felt when they needed to retreat, give up some meters of our territory, or didn't have what to answer with to Russian uh, missiles and other tactics. And I imagine how happy they are to realize that we have the support of our partners and this support is not just words, not just cheering up, but the real military aid. And today the United Kingdom, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Sunak, announced another and the largest package of aid to Ukraine, which includes many beautiful things that we definitely need. Uh, for example, 400 pieces of various military equipment, 4 million ammunition, which is huge, and 60 boats for uh, water, um, I have put down water raids, and also, what is the most important, uh, a portion of Storm Shadow, which is long-range precision missiles, and we definitely need that. And also, 1,600 uh, missiles for air defense systems and other tasks. And our gratitude is great and I am sure we will exceed your expectations in stopping these crimes, in stopping this violence and brutality. And also the first aid package from the United States is coming and it will also include various vehicles, uh, then also ammunition for HIMARS, Stinger, Javelin, and it will be really loud. I am sure Russians understand that. We feel that, unfortunately, because right now they are trying to target everything. Yesterday you saw how they destroyed a TV tower in Kharkiv, which is once again an illustration what targets they choose civilian, school, hospitals, cultural heritage objects and various densely populated areas of Ukrainian cities. That's why we are blessed to have the partners who provide us with air defense systems, with the missiles needed for this air defense systems. And I hope that in the weeks to come, it will be safer to live and fight in Ukraine. This is extremely important. And uh, I am once again very grateful for that. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. This is the easiest way to demonstrate your solidarity, but it is extremely effective in attracting attention to Ukraine and spreading more information about this war and the need to punish Russia. And recently I have come across conversations, especially in the EU media, that soon there might be a peace meeting in Switzerland with 80 or 100 countries coming and that potentially with all that aid being in Ukraine already, they will try to set a 
ultimatum, do you have the word like that? Let me know in the comments below, to Russia to uh, leave Ukraine, give away um, all the territories that they occupied temporarily, very temporarily, and like give up. But honestly, I do not believe Russia will accept this kind of scenario. Plus, uh, it will give us uh, nothing, actually. Because such criminal, such violent regimes, they have to collapse and they have to be uh, in the court. We have to witness this dezombification of that population that will witness the processes on Putin and as a propagandist, and it's not a simple thing that can be negotiated and signed on paper. So many Ukrainian lives lost, so many threats to different countries, capitals, threats of nuclear weapons, causes uh, lots of things that caused ecological tragedies. It cannot be like negotiated or, I don't know, no matter how much weapons we have, we have to use them to stop Russia and to teach Russia so that never again they repeat an invasion on any independent country that was once unfortunate enough to be a part of the Soviet Union. It is extremely important. We see that countries like Poland, who understands what threats Russia imposes on our part of the world, now openly speaks about the need to locate nuclear weapons on its territory and believe me if ukrainians had this option being a part of nato they would definitely like it so if you'd ask me do i believe in any potential negotiations with russia even being in this position of power no no because we cannot trust russia and history has proved us this like thousand times Having broken all international agreements, demonstrating disrespect to international organizations and personally to international leaders, Putin is a global bully, but also, unfortunately, is a global murderer. That's why with such people, with such regimes and with such populations who support these evil actions, we do not negotiate, we do not freeze, we do not observe the situation, we defeat and we punish unpunished evil growth. This is one of the proverbs that we repeat in Ukraine very often and I hope you share this opinion with me. Uh, let me know uh, once again how quickly do you think we will destroy Kerch Bridge? It's important for the supply of Russian army and uh, do you think Russia will try to negotiate, understanding that we are getting more and more from our allies? And what is likely? Many of uh, the ammunition and weapons that we expect are already on the land of Europe. This is beautiful. Remember to join me on Instagram, Threads, Twitter and Discord. Thank you for buying me coffees and becoming my patrons and sponsors of the channel on YouTube. This is an honor and a blessing that allows me to develop more projects. And also we have a beautiful merch shop with uh, good items that work well as conversation starters and reminders about Ukraine. And please, once again, listen attentively. I am very grateful to all of your countries, to all of your efforts, all of your conversations, all of your letters, emails, telephone calls, and each of your comments below the videos. They change a lot. And united, we can win this evil and actually do it much quicker than Ukraine alone. And we are very grateful, like every Ukrainian person, that we feel we are not alone. Thank you. Slava Ukraini!